Hello everyone! In today's beginner-friendly watercolor tutorial, we are going to paint a simple blue butterfly. First of all, we need to start with a reference photo. I got mine from Pixabay and I'm going to start a drawing with a mechanical pencil on my watercolor paper. I'm using Fabriano hot pressed watercolor paper. You can find all materials down in the video description. You don't have to have the most accurate or perfect preliminary sketch or drawing in the beginning, because watercolor is a very uncontrolled controllable medium, it will be wobbly at the edges and most of the time it does what it wants. But before we continue, I wanted to let you know that I have over a hundred painting lessons available for you on my Patreon site in which I teach you my techniques step by step. These videos are way longer than the ones you see on YouTube. You get my reference photo, the sketch to print out, my material list and the high resolution file of the final artwork so that you can paint along with me. Just follow the link in the video video description to join me on Patreon and get access to over a hundred full-length painting lessons. So if you have roughly the shape and the outlines of your butterfly, that's all we need. Just make sure that the wings are roughly the same size and look as symmetrical as possible. When you are happy with how your sketch looks, just use an eraser to clean it up a bit before you start the watercolor process. We are starting with mixing the base color for the butterfly. In this case it's a blue butterfly, so I'm going to use ultramarine and azure blue to get a nice base color for it. And depending on which watercolor you use, you will see differences once it dries. For example, the ultramarine blue has this beautiful grain, whereas the azure blue doesn't. This is completely normal. Each watercolor pigment behaves differently once it's dried. When you paint the butterfly wings, just alternate the different blue tones. This way you get a very beautiful pattern once the watercolor is dried. Next we continue with the dark portions of the butterfly pattern. We can find dark blue or even black at the borders of the wings and in the center of the butterfly. For that we are just mixing black or paints gray and we are just going to apply that on the appropriate areas on the butterfly. Don't wait too long to apply this technique because here we are playing with the bleeding effect and the wet on wet technique with watercolors. By adding the darker blue or black into the lighter blue, we will create a natural gradient and blending between the two colors. And this is the effect we are going for with this butterfly. After having added the darker areas, we are continuing with adding two antennas on the butterfly's head. Here we just need to use a smaller detail brush to be able to draw out these finer and delicate lines. Now everything needs to dry before we can continue painting. Now we can finally add more details to the butterfly. Let's start with making the body a little bit darker. Here we can just use black, indigo blue or paints gray. Now we can finally start adding more details to the butterfly wings. Let's start with painting in the veins. For that I like to turn the paper to be able to make clean lines because it's just easier on the wrist and the hand to move in one particular direction. To get a lighter blue for the veins just mix blue with water and use a detail brush to carefully draw in the veins. It is a little bit difficult to draw thinner lines with a lot of water, but it doesn't have to be perfect. We will be adding more details later so that maybe little mistakes or wobbly lines will not be that noticeable once we have finished the butterfly. The only thing you need to pay attention to now is to draw the veins accordingly to the reference photo. The two things you need to get right here is to check where each vein starts and where it ends and also to get them symmetrical. They don't have to be perfectly symmetrical, also you don't have to have the exact same amount of veins like you see them on the reference photo, but just observe it and have a rough idea what pattern they form on the butterfly's wings. You normally have like a main vein on the top wings and then you have those little veins coming from that vein and they end in the borders of the wing and then on the bottom wing the pattern looks a little bit different. Just have a look at your reference photo and try to render that as best as you can. Try to be as symmetrical as you can, but again it doesn't have to be perfect. The next step is to darken the edges of the wings and to add more details. As you can see on the reference photo the edges are 
way darker than on our painting. So we are just going to mix in another black or indigo blue or paints gray and use less water to just darken the paper a little bit more. Then we are going to add those little details like the little stripes you see in between the veins. And now maybe you see that adding more details to a butterfly wing just make it look more convincing. Even though everything else is very rough and abstract, those little details make a huge difference. The next step that we are going to do now will make all the difference. We are going to use orange and white acrylic paint, but you can also use white gouache paint or white ink marker if you have that, or also wax based color pencils as long as they cover the paper. Now we will use the white gouache paint to add the tiny white dots at the borders of the wings. Here we need to pay attention to place these dots exactly between two veins. Of course, depending on what kind of butterfly you do, you will have a different pattern to follow. But I realize that just paying attention to those tiny details will help create a very convincing depiction of a butterfly. Then after having placed the first row of dots, we have another row of dots directly at the edge of the wings. So we will add that too before we move on to using the orange dots for the lower wings. So we're just going to repeat this process and adding white dots at the edges and then finishing with the orange dots. And as the final step, we are just going to enhance the top wings with dark watercolor and draw around the larger white spots to just enhance the contrast a bit. And that's it. This is how you paint this very basic and simple butterfly. Now you may be thinking, this is all? <laughs> there are no more details on the butterfly and this is all I need? Well, basically this is really all you need. I use butterflies as decorative elements on basically all my paintings or almost all my paintings and I don't do more. This is the technique that I pretty much use in each butterfly that I do and of course some butterflies may have a different pattern or have a little bit more details but this is the basic technique. You can apply that to paint the most beautiful butterflies and you see that it didn't really take a lot of time so you can easily place three or five butterflies on your painting without needing lots of hours to finish them. This is really a super easy technique to paint a beautiful looking butterfly. And if you're a beginner artist and you just wanted to start out, this is also a really simple exercise for you. I believe I don't think it's like super difficult for the beginners. And I hope this tutorial is interesting both for beginner and for intermediate artists. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one. Bye bye!